This is going to be a one-time only gala performance featuring the, uh, well, one of the greatest musicians of our time or any time, Itzhak Perlman, the wonderful violinist. And on this program, we're going to play two pieces that were heard on the orchestra's very first concert in 1911. The Symphony No. 28 by Mozart and a, a suite, for, a ballet suite by a composer that has now been moved to the shelves, Alexandre Luigini. And despite his uh, very Italian sounding name, he was a French composer. And I'm sure this ballet was written for one of the ballet companies in, in Paris. And it had its heyday, um, I think even through the 50s, there were many recordings made of it. It used to be a, a, a staple of uh, light music concerts that orchestras used to give. And the, the Austin Symphony played parts of it on its very first concert. So we're playing those two works. And then on the second half, uh, Mr. Perlman is playing the Brook Violin Concerto, number one in G minor. And then I wanted to end a work which would involve as large an orchestra as possible. <laughs> Uh, and that's uh, the Pines of Rome by Ottorino Respighi. And there's sort of an inside joke to that. The orchestra that we know as the Austin Symphony back then was mostly a chamber orchestra. In fact, it was so small, they only had six first violins, three violas, only one cello and one bass. They had no bassoons. It had no horns or tuba. And I think just one timpanist, no percussionist. So it was really a, a glorified chamber orchestra. So for us to end with the Pines of Rome is sort of a, that was then and this is now. There are going to be extra, uh, six extra brass players somewhere in the hall. Where we don't know just yet, but it's going to be an extraordinarily festive way to, to usher in this uh, very important uh, milestone in the orchestra's history and in the city's history too. The Austin Symphony played through uh, the Second World War uh, many citywide calamities. There was a financial bust of uh, three or four decades ago. And despite all that, the good people of Boston have supported the, the projects and the playing of the orchestra. So for that, we're very grateful and just so glad and happy to uh, present a concert uh, on this auspicious occasion. Mm -hmm. 